Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We are here in Denver, Colorado. We are. Mm -hmm. Now, the last time we were in Denver, it was just a short time when our son was in the Army. Yes. It was over six, seven years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. He is uh, in, um, what is it? Fort Carson in uh, Colorado Springs. So we stayed in Denver maybe for a meal, and then he took us down to Colorado Springs. Yes, yeah. yes. So this is really our first time in the city, really. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we are going to start out breakfast at Call Your Mother. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's a, I guess, a popular bagel place, and uh, they got high ratings. Yeah, so we have to try it out. Yeah, let's go. Their bagels here are unreal. They have one with crunchy peanut butter. They have one with peach, with cream. They also have... Um, what, some kind of candied yeah. salmon? Uh-huh. Right. And they have one with Fritos. Oh, my gosh. Those sound um, crazy. Oh, yeah. They have a bakery on site here, which is really cool. But everything is made to order. The It's so overwhelming you really got to read the menu because they every they have everything from savory bagels to like dessert bagels to just like scrumptious bagels music is a little bit loud in here so we tried to find a really quiet corner and it's it's just very appealing very really good bright colors and everything yeah, it's, like got, that. it's got some good vibes yeah, in here it does i got the sun city bagel now on the description it says it's got bacon either pastrami or impossible sausage, spicy honey, uh, bodega style egg, American and cheddar cheeses on an everything bagel. Wow, look at this. You know what I like is this thick type of like butcher paper, the same kind they use in New York, mm -hmm. right? Oh, look at that. And this is hot. Oh, you can see that steam. That's oh, crazy. Man. Look at that. There we go. Like everybody does this shot, right? How's that look? It does look good. Yeah, this baby. is like really hot. Here we go. Look at that. This everything bagel feels very fresh. It's got so many like different kind of seeds and stuff on it. Here we go. The first thing that comes through is that hot honey. It is delicious with that pastrami nice fluffy egg and the cheese man this is like a perfect combination first time ever have i had hot honey on a breakfast bagel sandwich it is one of my favorites now that tastes is very unique i love it and they give you the right amount of pastrami the ratio is nice oh look at that man that thing is steaming wow this is a this is a great way to start our Denver eating day. Mm. How the first thing you got was the hot honey. Yeah. The first thing I got here was that cheesiness, the egg, and that savoriness. I didn't know the bodega style egg. It's almost like a, a scrambled egg that's like folded into each other. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this is absolutely delicious. I got the Boca Club, which is white fish salad, bacon, lettuce on sesame. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm a big fan of, like, uh, egg salad and tuna salad. This is a white fish. Look at that. I have tons. And there's even some in the wrapper. Wow, look at that. Yeah. That looks really good on a sesame. You can see the bacon in here. You can see the white fish in there. Let's go ahead and try this out. This is very good. You have to be a fish fan. It's nothing like tuna. If you're thinking it's almost like a tuna salad, nothing like tuna. It's a very good. I can imagine this fish maybe eating it on top of rice or something. And they make it that's totally minced. They have it with a little bit of mayo in it and the bacon. This elevates it a bit. This is a how tuna, you can taste that tuna flavor. This one. You can really taste the sea in this one. So if you're not a fan of something that has that flavor of the sea in your fish, then don't get this one. But to me, it is delicious. I like the mixture of it. I like the contrast between the bacon and the white fish. Oh yeah, this is really good. Although everything is nice and fresh tasting, it is a little too fishy for me. Uh, so it will probably be a pass on this one. I think I'll probably stick with the regular tuna. But the white fish, if you're really into that, 
kind of a deep fish flavor. This is for you. But for me, it's a pass. Our next place we want to check out is El Taco de Mexico. Mm -hmm. They are known for their green chili. Oh, we have to check this out. I, he found this one on what? Uh, it's on Yelp. Yelp. But yep. You know what? I believe somebody recommended this place also okay. for something with green chili. I don't know if it's in a burrito or enchilada or something. We gotta try it out, baby. Yeah, let's go check it out. So I think this is it. It's a special burrito of green chili with pork. But they have a lot of stuff here from breakfast, combination plates, taco, burrito, hamburgers. A lot of stuff here. This is their green chili burrito. You can put extra green chili sauce on that, but we're just gonna do it the way it comes. It smells so like the, really good, right? It's really good. Yes. And you can see all the awards inside. They're known for this green chili right here. Let's go ahead, cut this on inside here. So this is their uh, wet burrito mm -hmm. and uh, pork, right? Yes, this is the pork green chili. Just look at this in here. You can see the rice, the beans, the pork in there, in this sauce. And we're, we're a fan oh, of yeah. green chili as mm -hmm. well. And they're known for it here, so let's try this out. Yeah, they have a lot of accolades, right? They do. So, yeah. You almost need like a spoon. You almost, you almost don't need the fork. You almost need like the, the spoon for it. That looks very tender. Look at that. That smells amazing. I just want to let you know, right, where when you cut it, boy. Here we go. Yeah. That is a delicious burrito. Let me just try to taste that burrito. It has a really good pork flavor in it. You can taste the beans. You can taste the um, the pork in there. But I don't know if I tasted this green chili sauce. So let's go ahead and try this out. Ah. Oh yeah. Flavorful green chili. It's a little bit of heat. It is a very light, um, like, chili taste or pepper taste to it you're gonna like this one baby this is really good so it's not like really spicy it's then? not extremely spicy at all this really makes this burrito now i taste a little bit of kick to it i don't know if my green chili had a little bit more effect on it but it is a little bit on the spicy side but it's a nice kind of heat it's a kind that just kind of that warms your mouth right and we got some nice horchata to uh, cool things down. Yeah. Nice, it's kind of sweet cinnamon. But yeah, this is delicious. Who knew? Yeah, you could get a little taste of Mexico right here in Denver. Look, we even got the Mexican flag right here. Yeah, we got good vibes in here. Delicious burrito. Yeah, we could easily finish this one but we have a couple more surprises for you so we're gonna try to space things out so we have some good appetite for the next spots but this is a winner the green chili pork burrito we thought we'd take a little bit of side trip mm -hmm. we're in right in the middle of downtown denver we are and we are next to the tallest blue bear that I know. Yeah, that I've ever heard of. It is connected to the Convention Center. So it took us a while to try to find this place. So yeah. it's connected to the Colorado Convention Center. If you find the Colorado Convention Center, it's on the side. Yes, uh, the art piece is called I See What You Mean. By Lawrence Argent. Yeah, Lawrence Argent. 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 Uh -huh. Yeah, so right there is the butt. Yeah, we're in the lake. Hashtag bear, bear blue butt. butt. Oh, bear blue butt. Yeah, so yeah, it's huge. We'll give you a better shot. So that was it. This thing is huge. As it you is. can see, it's leaning up against the uh, the building. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's looking into the convention center. Yeah, okay. so it looks like it's made out of metal or something. Or fiberglass or something, because you can hear it and you can, sound, you can hear it. It's hollow. Right, yeah. So a lot of people are here taking pictures and yeah. stuff. But yeah, that's it. It's right. it's 40 feet tall. It is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. We're off for our next that adventure. That was cool. Yeah, we're off for our next adventure now. What's it feel like? Oh. It's a uh, very coarse. Yeah, it is. But like, you can hear like it's fiberglass or something. But when you knock on it, it kind of hurts your knuckles. It does. It's very coarse. It is. Well, yeah. There we go. That was fun. Uh -huh.
we are on our way to probably one of the most unique ice cream places. Mm-hmm. I love like, how the city looks in downtown, huh, baby? Yes, yeah, this is right in the middle of downtown Denver. We're driving on the way to the ice cream place and we had to stop by. We went over this bridge and this bridge, you can see like these little urban waterfalls or man-made waterfalls right here, which is cool. And there's a bridge going across too. Lots of people are using this path. I think it's called River Point, I think. And a lot of people are using this path to walk, to run. Cycle. Just enjoy yeah. your day. There's a Starbucks right here where you can really enjoy it. Connected to an REI, one of my favorite shops. It's a, just a really cool area just to sit down and chill. We made it to Little Man Ice Cream. I like how cute this is. This is a big like dairy can, old school dairy can, and the ice cream shop is in it. Yes. So, now I believe they have like I think three locations plus mm -hmm. a factory. Yeah, the factory right? ice cream factory sounds really cool, but it starts at 3 p.m. So yes. I don't know if we're going to be in town because it's all everything is in town at 3 p.m. We'll see. Right, and I think it's right before noontime right mm -hmm. now. Yeah, but we're going to go up here and uh, check out what kind of ice cream. They have some specialized flavors. They do. Mm -hmm. And I think I have my eye on one of them. Yes. We got three flavors. You can do as many flavors as you want in any of the size cups. So we got the big one, which is called the Big Dip. Right. And we got three flavors in it. We got the Space Chunky, which is their most popular. Which is that purple one right uh, Which there. is the Mexican chocolate, which was delicious. It kind of tastes like a little bit of abuelita in there. And we got the espresso. Right, fudge. baby? Espresso fudge. Yeah. yeah. These look really good. It's a good little break from all of that food. And this is the start of our sightseeing. So yeah. let's try this one out. And uh, let me try the, I know what the Mexican hot chocolate is because I already had a, a little sample of that. Let's try this uh, Space Chunky one. I have the little Mexican hot chocolate. Actually, I got a little mix of it. And that Space Chunky is very fruity. Let me try that one out. Oh yeah, that's good. This with this, with this espresso hot chocolate, the Space Chunky with the espresso hot chocolate. It's kind of like that fruit with a little bit of that Mexican chocolate mix. Yeah, so let me try some of this mm. space junkie only. Mm -hmm. How's that, babe? Let me turn it around the camera around so mm. you can watch him taste it. Hold on. There you go, babe. Yeah, definitely fruity. It's like um, some kind of berry with slight yogurt flavor to it. Mm -hmm. But it's, not the like tart yogurt. No, 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 not at all. Delicious, wow. Yeah, it's a little bit on the sweet side. Uh, it tastes nothing like grape, because I know it looks kind of purpley. Yeah, it's great flavor. Yeah. And it, it, the, everyone was raving about this yeah. flavor, that's why we got it. But yeah, very good. Mm -hmm. And some, some reviews, they say it's overrated, but it's not overrated. No. It is delicious. They and taste that, homemade. Yeah, that espresso fudge right yeah. here. Matches well together. That one's not sweet at all. Great espresso. It's like espresso coffee with fudge. Exactly what the name is. That is delicious. Wow, I like that one. Fudge, baby. You can see the little espresso pieces in it. This is the Mexican chocolate. Oh, is that right? Oh, wow. Um, yeah. I was all messed up. You can taste the difference, but they taste well mixed together. <laughs> <laughs> so that wraps it up from the ice cream place. Yes. Now we have a special lunch uh-huh and i like these cars look at these cars these are like old school like carnival cars yeah like little bumper cars yeah. or something that's pretty cool it is now let's go to lunch yes now you can throw shotgun okay. for lunch we made it to the stockyard saloon so i think you've read that this is the um like the most classic saloon but it's like, it's the like most a modern, modern, inside. modern looking saloon. But we didn't come here for the saloon. No. We came here for Rocky Mountain oysters. We got to try it while we're here, right? In Mile High, Mile High State, uh, baby. Nah, a lot of people say, what the heck is that? We'll explain when we get inside. Yeah. And I like their sign. Look at their sign. The Stockyard Saloon. Great food, cold beer. Get in here. Get it. Let's go then. Let's go. And we have to have a cute Coors. You know, yes, we're we here, do. Colorado. You got to have a Coors. Right. Hey, that's all you need. That's all you need. Cowboys and cattle. That's it. There we go. So I dig the vibe inside here. Like it's got wood floors, got the kind of saloon, good old kind of Texas, Colorado feel to it. Now check out that menu right here. This is what we came here for. The RMO, the Rocky Mountain Oysters. Yes, so if you're not familiar what that is, it's bull or cow testicles they kind of slice up and deep fry 
supposed to be some good stuff. I've never had it. You never had it. No. Yeah. So the first time for everything. So uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna get. Nothing yeah. about seafood. Yeah. And a couple of course. Yeah. First time having a course yeah. banquet. Since 1873, these things have been here only in brewed in Colorado, baby. That's what the sign said outside banquet. Yeah. You know what? I, yeah. I definitely don't drink course that much at all. Mm -mm. But hey, you got to when you're here, right? You have to. Cheers, babe. Cheers, babe. Very light, nice cold beer. Oh, yeah, yeah, very, very cold. It's, mm -hmm. in, it's in those aluminum cans, yeah. so it's refreshing. Um, yeah, it, it's not light by any means. It's not like me a Coors light. light. Oh, no, not, not Coors light, but yeah. it's a very light tasting beer. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. I, I think it's going to match those Rocky Mountain oysters. Yeah. Can't wait to try them. This sounds so interesting. Oh, yeah, you'll have some, all right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Of course, when in Denver, you gotta try their Rocky Mountain oysters. They're nicely fried. I have no idea what they're gonna taste like. And uh, these are bull? Uh, yeah, bull testicles. Bull testicles. So they have them, they take off a membrane. I think I've seen the video, and they chop them up and they deep fry them. Let's yeah, go that ahead. This sounds is some... painful, but yes, try them out. Okay, first try I'm gonna out. try it without the cocktail sauce. Nice crunchy. They don't really have a flavor. Not, not like a, a beef or maybe maybe like try that. one of the lighter battered ones. Let's try. They're really nice and crunchy. I don't really taste any flavor. So I would. I would think, if anything, it'd be a little beefy, obviously, yeah. because from a cow. Yeah. No. Nice, crunchy. It is just a batter to me. You have to try it out, baby, and see if it tastes like the flavor to you. Well, I'll try it with the cocktail sauce. Mm. It's a bit tasty cocktail sauce. With the cocktail sauce, so I want some shrimp, because it's a very good cocktail sauce, but... Nice, crunchy, little battered things. Oh, I'm not sure. You have to try it out, baby, and see. You know, when you deep fry anything, it's got to be good, right? Yeah, very minimal taste of anything, like you said. It's, it's mild, if anything. So it could be eaten with some beer, with some of its, uh, cocktail sauce. Oh. You know what? It's a great snack. Wash it down with some cores. So we asked our server what else he could recommend that this place is famous for or popular. Look at this. The prime rib sandwich. I thought it would be like shaved prime rib or something. Heck no. We got the whole piece of prime rib with uh, the au jus right there. And they asked us if we want some chips or fries, so we got that. Now look at this. That's huge. Wow. Let's cut into this thing. Well, let's go in for that dip. Oh, that looks really good. Here we go. The prime rib is nice and tender. This prime rib will put a couple of those that we had in Vegas to shame. This is very good quality prime rib. Look at that. Thank you, babe. You cut a piece for me. Hey, you're welcome. I'm going to dip it in this au jus. going to get some of this bread. And this is a prime rib sandwich? It is. Interesting how to eat it as a sandwich. Let's go ahead. Look at put all that in here. Nicely. It looks like a little bit buttered and it's crispy, so it's probably a little bit on the flat top. Oh, no. Oh. Mm -hmm. Very well seasoned farm rib. Is it like the one of the best ones I've had? No, it's but a very good prime rib, especially for a little saloon. And I love these house made chips. Look at these. They're on the thicker side. You know they're going to be nice and crunchy. I can see why it's the most popular meal because you're getting a pretty much a steak lunch. Oh yeah. And it's a good thing we're sharing this. Yes. Oh yeah. So we essentially got 
two beef plates right here. Yeah. One's more more meat based than the other. Yeah. The other one's kind of a the low hanging fruit. <laughs> We're at Red Rock Canyon. Look at all of these red rocks. Oh, it's beautiful out here. We're on the way to the amphitheater. Which we believe it's free. Just to go look around. They have like movie nights and concerts at the amphitheater. It looks like something looking. from Cars Ride at California Adventure. Yeah, look at the hole right here. Yeah, you're gonna go through, babe. Oh yeah. This lady's it's... standing in the middle of the road, though. Get out of the way, lady. Okay. Turn left. Okay. Turn left. Right here. Right here. Oh yeah, this is pretty cool. We're at Red Rock Park and Amphitheater. We parked in the lower lot. Now we're going to go see the amphitheater. It's supposed to be really cool and it's free to go see it. It's 2 p.m. but apparently the amphitheater just closed. Yeah, we don't know why, but yeah, oh know. well. But, but it's beautiful up here. Yeah, we'll try to get close as we can and get some shots anyway. Yeah. At the very end, well, right before the amphitheater, mm -hmm. there's a gift shop and a cafe. Yeah. Yeah, so they're open till 2.30. Right, but I guess they close at 2, I don't know. We didn't see any hours, huh, baby? But no, I didn't see any hours, but we'll give you a file photo right here to show you what it looks like uh, if we just had access, just a little bit further that yeah. way. Yeah, and it's uh, beautiful up here. The scenery is beautiful. These red rocks are amazing. Yeah, they are. They are. We are here at a, what is it, Rocky, Rocky Mountain? Rocky Mountain Arsenal National Wildlife uh, Refuge. It is free and it is a 10 mile drive, which is really cool. Um, there's an, a gate that you can see an entrance. And then over here you can see like supposedly bison. And this is like the only kind of reserve that's in the middle of like a, a city. It's a commerce city. Mm -hmm. And it's supposed to have a lot of wildlife. So we're gonna take that 10 mile drive. Right, we're kind of on the outskirt of Denver. Um, I guess kind of near the airport. Yeah. yeah, so let's check it out. Yeah, it's a giant area here. It's really interesting because you can see uh, one side is a road and the other side are like houses. And right in the middle. We're on the lookout yeah. for some wildlife. And we'll see if we can find anything. We finally found something. It's a deer. Look at that. There's several in the trees. Looks we like can he, even go closer. Looks like he's sleepy. There's um, several more. Yeah. This way. Drive this way toward the uh, toward the trees right here. Right there, they're just chilling. Look at that. That's worth it. Yeah. And I do see bison, but they're kind of far. Well, there we go. We're at 15x zoom. See a couple there. So they're actually this far away. I forgot today was Tuesday. It's closed Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, I mean the visitor center. Right. But they do have a little outlook here with a couple free little binoculars, little kids mm -hmm. here. And, and you, you can, can see, see them. them, yeah, off in the distance. They're pretty up close with the binoculars. You can see those spots right over there. Over there. Way out there. Wait, no, those, those are bushes. Those are bushes. <laughs> Hold on, stand by. Where'd they go? Go to the left, babe. There, there, there. A little bit more. Oh, right there. I got them. Oh, you got them. Uh, got the whole pack. Yeah, that's it, guys. So it's a good free refuge to go around. And of course, uh, they will cross at any time. I mean, they're moving animals. But for us, nothing crossed across, uh, on our roadway. But I've seen pictures where they do cross the roadway. But we did get some up close of the deers. We did. Yeah. And that was it. That was fun. Yep.
We just got that from our old people's dad. Yeah, we needed it, but especially him because he did a lot of that driving. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now it's time for dinner, and yeah. you know we looked around what's around in our uh, hotel area, and there's a pho. There's a pho 92. No, we gotta try it out. Oh, and uh, by the way, if you come to the Denver airport, mm -hmm. it's kind of far to get to downtown, downtown Denver. Yes, That's it a good is. When we like with 10, 15 miles at least, maybe. Oh yeah, with traffic this morning when we went to the bagel place, it took almost forty-five minutes. Yeah, so yeah. so we were planning to go back to downtown, but mm -hmm. that traffic was a turnoff. Yeah. So we decided to stay in our area, hence fun place it gets over four stars hey fun 92 you we know i haven't out. had fun in a long time we haven't and to me it just feels medicinal it's just so good yeah yeah so sounds let's go good see to me have. yep it is popping in here didn't know how busy it was going to be very good size menu here we go we cut the appetizer spring roll the top one and then the pho. it comes in all different kind of combinations but we got the rare steak and brisket combination. And you can see they also have noodle bowls and uh, rice dishes. And more stuff even on the back. Yeah. So there's a lot of stuff on this menu besides pho. Yeah, sorry, I'm reading because I'm just reading all the good stuff. Christopher ordered something, remember, baby? It was like in a lettuce wrap. I, I forgot. Okay, uh, yeah, I think it was Bun to You or something like that. Or something that. like that. Looks really good. So I'm seeing if they have that here. We got the same thing. We got the rare steak, huh, baby? And brisket. Rare steak and brisket pho. What pho is? It's a it's a broth. It's a fish based broth, and it's with beautiful noodles. And here is the rare steak and brisket. You can see the meat in here. It always comes with two types of onions. Here's the noodles right here. Wow. And again, to me, this tastes like medicinal. It tastes like when you eat this, you're going to get better if you're ever sick. They have also your Thai basil, your lime, your bean sprouts, and your jalapenos. Now, this is the actual setup that they always give you. Uh, we always skip over the jalapenos. He likes it with lime. I like it with the Thai basil and the vegetable and some poison sauce. That gives it that little yes. bit of a And they do give cake. some other accompaniments as well. Yeah. So we also got some spring rolls. Here they are. You got the basic um, pork and shrimp spring rolls and this peanut sauce. This looks just amazing. Oh, and this is also a uh, regular. They have a regular and a large size. And our size is the regular size. Look at that. That looks like, especially with the crowd in here, you know, this has been simmering. And you can tell because of the crowd in here that everything is going to be fresh. Yeah, I have no idea it, it was like going to be this crowded when we first yeah. walked in. Yeah, you would never know from the outside, but the free parking and the parking lot is busy, but you would never know. Let's try this out. Oh, yeah. That broth is delicious. It is a, a fish type broth in it, but it doesn't taste fishy at all. It's nice and rich tasting. Let's go ahead. I'm going to add all of my stuff in here and add a little bit of hoisin, and we're going to just chow on down. I love me some Thai basil, so I break it up. I even like the stem in here. Sometimes the stem is a little bit hard to chew, but I even like the stem in here. Some of the green sprouts. I usually let you do this first because I usually take the rest of the vegetable. I love it with a lot of vegetables. And then I hit it up with a little bit of the hoisin. This is a big bottle of hoisin. Let's go ahead up with the big bottle of hoisin. Right there. Here is the lime. One, two. So, you know, everybody has their own style of how they get their pho ready. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's your specialty right this there. This is my specialty yeah. here. Then I get it all nice and soaked and mixed up. Now, this soup comes out hot, not just hot, like piping hot. So you got to be careful when you drink it. And of course, though, when it's hot, that's like the best time to have it. There we go. Kind of change the color of that broth, as you can see. 
go ahead and take this first bite right here. There we go. Mm. Oh, we're good. Thank you. That is delicious. Oh, wow. You're good. Once you introduce these vegetables in the pho, it enhances and it flavors the broth. And I can taste a little bit of that Thai basil in that broth, even though I didn't eat any of the Thai basil. Oh, yeah. This is amazing. The way I like to get my pho ready is just some bean sprouts and just some fresh lime juice in it. I don't add anything else because I like the base flavor of the soup. To me, that's the way I like it. It's perfect. I'll give it a try. Yeah. Perfection right there. So let me get my noodles ready and then go in for that bite. The rare steak is cooked perfectly. The broth is so hot that it, it actually cooks the steak because it's really thin. Let's try some of this out with the noodles. Wow. It's been a while now. Delicious. Before we get too far into our uh, dish right here, we almost forgot about the rolls. Let's dip it into the peanut sauce. Oh yeah. I know some places they actually put chunks of peanuts in there, but this one it doesn't have any actual peanuts. Oh, that's really good. Mm. These spring rolls are so fresh. I love that the shrimp is there, that very thin layer of pork. Nice little uh, like lettuce in here, all wrapped in that that wrap <laughs> with that peanut sauce. It just matches perfectly. Yeah, this is very good. I gave you the bigger one. Yeah, you did. Uh, the rice paper wrap, vermicelli noodles, pork, and lettuce. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead. That is delicious. Of course, I didn't get any meat here, but I see the vermicelli noodles, crunchiness of that lettuce. Oh yeah, rice paper. This is this is amazing. This peanut sauce. It's a little bit on the sweet side, mm -hmm. which is very good as well. This is really gonna complete our really good dinner here. The pho place was delicious. It was very good. Yeah, you know we're not pho experts, right. but we could compare it to the ones back in LA. Yeah, in Garden Grove. Oh especially yeah. In Westminster, Westminster, yeah. Westminster. In fact, you yeah. talked to one of the, the servers yeah. there. Yeah, and the server says what the, when they do is when they go to Garden Grove, they go to Fahalik. And yes. we've been to Fahalik, so we know exactly the taste. Oh yeah. Of Fahalik. Yeah. Right. And it's this one is very good. It yeah. is. So mm -hmm. I, I guess if you're in this airport area, we could definitely recommend that yes. one. Mm -hmm. But now we are at Andy's frozen. And custard. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, we have to do this. I mean, this is our dessert, uh, frozen custards. We've had some, especially we've had it in Vegas, yeah. and it is delicious. It's just like an ice cream. We found out though, it's like concrete where you do upside down and it doesn't fall out. Right, it, it doesn't melt as fast. Right, right? exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they have all different kinds. Uh, we'll go take a look at the menu right now. Mm -hmm. They have all these different flavors here. They have Sunday splits. Your concretes, which are the ones that you can hang upside down. They have jackhammers, which they put something in the middle. And it explains everything that they have. Yeah, and I guess these are like their specials that they have yeah. right now. They all look good, but you know what? I think I'm going basic. <laughs> I'm going to go with the old basic uh, Oreo and standard vanilla. But yeah, you can see that they have all different kinds over here. And, you know, that's all they have here is just desserts. They don't yeah. have food. They don't need anything else, though, yeah. because dessert is it. Especially today was a 90-degree weather day. Yeah, yeah, I can understand maybe during the snow season, but today is perfect. Yeah, it's a drive through and yeah. it's a walk-up window. So, yep, we're going to see what we're going to get. Yeah? Yep, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting my steps in. Oh, there you go. Um, can we have a regular vanilla blended with Oreo inside and Oreo on top? That was quick. It was quick. Yeah. That hold mine. There you go, babe. Yeah, this is it right here, the Andes. So I got mine with the uh, the Oreo filling inside blended with Oreos on top as well. And I got the Snow Monster. Mine has a strawberry 
blended in there with chocolate chip. Wow, strawberry and chocolate yeah, chip. Yeah, yeah it looks that, really good. Yeah, so that's one of the ones that are already like uh, uh, picked for you, right. right? And it's supposed to. Whoa. Oh, it's a little bit melty. Easy but yes, there. it does. It doesn't fall out though. Yeah, I'm gonna mm. try it out. Oh, I tried that with a little spoon. Vanilla, or yeah, cream, strawberry, chocolate. Exactly oh, what, wow. it, what it says. Try that, Try. baby. That's delicious. Mm, With a little good. bit of strawberry in it, huh? Yeah, that very hint of uh, that strawberry, mm -hmm. does it? Yeah, that's like a chocolate chip ice cream with a hint of strawberry. Oh, yeah. it's delicious. Now, um, we I forgot the one we had in Vegas. It, it wasn't Freddy's. It, no. it was another one it inside the... It was the one on Durango. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot what it was called, but, but it's another frozen But that's the one custard. that we had. Well, we haven't tried Freddy's yet. Right. Uh, maybe we'll one day. Yeah. But yeah, this is really good. Yeah, let me go ahead and get a scoop for you, babe. Oh, thank you. Here we go. Oh, it's one of my favorites. It's like cookies and cream combination. How's that, baby? Try it. It's classic. What's really good is the Oreos are not stale. Mm -hmm. They are nice and fresh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? That is classic. That's delicious. It is. Oh yeah. Yeah. So yeah, if you ever come over here, you can't go wrong with this Oreo or that that monster. Was yeah. it monster? Uh, no, snow monster. Snow monster. Yeah, can't go wrong with mm -hmm. that one either. So we're gonna work on these and uh, we'll wrap it up. Mm -hmm. That is a wrap from Denver, Colorado. That was a lot of fun. It was. It was. We we're busy from morning time mm -hmm. all the way till right now, except for my little my little nap. Mm -hmm. But what you know what was interesting? This is how we plan our trips. Just mm -hmm. a heads up. We were sitting having our burrito, a margarita chili burrito. Yes. And we're wondering, you know what? I think we're going to cover what we want to cover Denver in one day. Yes. And so tomorrow we're supposed to do something in the morning, but mm -hmm. that traffic going to downtown just completely turned us off. So instead, we're doing another adventure tomorrow. Yes, we are going to another city. We're going to we hop are. over to Seattle. We're going to hop over to Seattle tomorrow, yeah. just for a day. Right. Go spend some time in a day. We got to hit up a few spots and maybe a few new spots there. Right. And then come on home after that. Yeah, you know, it's been uh, about two years since we last went to Seattle. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's some, I guess, some favorite places we want to yeah. hit up. Yes. And I got to have my clam chowder. Yes. So that's mm -hmm. definitely on the menu for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but so that's right it. But right now, Denver is beautiful. Yeah, it was. Perfect I weather. I love the wildlife. It was in the 90s today, but it, it, yeah. it was warm, but it was very comfortable. It was. Yeah. Now we're wondering how you know, how it is when we come back in the winter. If mm -hmm. we do, where all the the snow, mm -hmm. where that red canyon is, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that might be a fun trip. Yeah. yeah so, so we'll see what yeah, happens. Maybe mm -hmm. in the future. Yeah. yeah do you have any shout outs? I babe? do. Uh, happy birthday, Debbie. Uh, happy birthday, Kathleen. Kai, happy birthday. Uh, Victor, happy birthday. Mm -hmm. Donna, happy birthday. And Heidi. Yes, you Heidi. Know, Heidi, uh, keep up your fight, Heidi. Uh, yes. Congratulations on becoming, you know, she's going to become a grandparent. Right, right. Baby. Congratulations. Yeah. Okay. yeah, but stay positive. Yes. Keep up the fight. Yes. Keep up the fight. You yes. know, we're all here. We're oh, all yeah. Hannah. Yes, we are. So that wraps it up again from Denver. We hope you enjoyed hanging out with us today. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow, come hang out with us in Seattle. Yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. So, so until that adventure, we'll catch you guys in the next one.